What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bane Talk Survivor, man. I'm here in the shop, you know, in my crib. Um, but anyways, I have this little tutorial that I wanted to put up today. Um, I'm, I'm going to be posting every single Monday, just so y'all know. If y'all want me to be posting um, more than that, put it down in the comments. I'll, I'll probably do it. Um, but anyways, for this one, I'm just going to be teaching y'all how to, how to blow dry. Uh, and style the haircut. This is, um, this is a very easy technique, you know, very easy steps. Um, and I'm, I have a new intro too, like, so let me know what y'all think of the intro. Um, that video I got it from my Instagram, so if y'all wanna, uh, y'all wanna get more content from me, go follow my Instagram. Um, it's uh, Bang Tokes Cuts Hair. I'm gonna put it right here. But anyways, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you like. If you got any questions, put in the comments. It's your boy Ben Trust the Barber Man. Let's get back to let's get to this video, you know? Peace out. First step is to get some water. If it's not wet already, wet the hair. That way it could be dried. Because if you're gonna blow dry it, you can't do the dry part without having the wet part, you know, in the beginning. So second thing you wanna do is get your blow dryer. All right. I have a Conair one, so y'all can use whatever y'all want as long as use it right and you don't burn the person with the blow dryer right you want to make sure you take your time as y'all can see i'm starting from the back and like you just blow the hair straight because you don't want that hair to be standing up you want to blow the air at the hair in the direction that you want the hair to go the way you find out the direction is you ask the client which way they style their hair you know um and the first thing I do is I try to get volume in the hair. The way I get volume is I use the edge of the comb as y'all can see I slowed it down and I try to put the heat in the bottom and I kind of twist it when I get to the top that way it gives it a bend and sometimes you don't have to do this for every single client. Some clients just want it to be to the side they don't want no volume in it but this happens to me, my brother, and he did want some volume in it, so that's what I gave him. Um, and to give more volume, you just have to take more of your time. Like, just add more tension to the hair. And by tension, I mean while you're pulling the hair up um, to add volume, you also add tension by pulling it. Like, you make it, you pull the hair and try to make it tight the more tight you make it the more standing up it's gonna stay if, if y'all understand if y'all don't understand go back to until you understand it right all right and you don't just want to get the front of the hair you know you want to get the hairs that are behind it that way they lay on it all right and after what after that you want to go with the code because with the code what it does what it does is it basically freezes the hair in place after it just got heated up you know because the skin has pores and for some reason i don't know the full science but for some reason it just works like it just stays the hair in place you know now for the styling part what you're gonna want to do is have like a big comb like a wide tooth comb whatever type of comb you can get you know that's kind of big like this and the hairspray instant hairspray preferably and you spray it all over the hair and you put the comb in it and you want to use the comb as slow as you possibly can and if you feel like you need more 
hairspray add more hairspray and this styling technique is is not a haircut specific styling technique this styling technique can be done on literally every haircut um, it doesn't have to be the same style it could be any style but you could use hairspray and this one the technique can be done on any haircut but when you want to get style specific hairstyles this is when you start using clay and pomade depending on what the client wants to achieve like you know depending on the look that they want to achieve you have to give them a different product but this technique you can do it on anybody it'll make it look crispy it'll make it look nice for a picture or anything um it'll be getting the client's eyes so that's what you need so yeah man hopefully y'all like this little video that i put out for y'all um this is gonna be it i think it looks real nice real picture ready which is what you want you always want to be marketing yourself so make sure you guys take pictures and post it on instagram have an instagram account if y'all want to learn more about like how to market yourself so i could post videos like that let me know um this is the cut let me know what y'all think make sure y'all like comment subscribe you know like the video if you learn something comment any questions that you got and subscribe for upcoming videos man this is your boy Ben Tessa Barber. Peace out. Skitty.